So in this video, we'll take a look at a technique for trying to fix hands inside of Stable Diffusion. This is a very new technique. We'll cover briefly how it works. So we've got here a standard type of render using Stable Diffusion SD 1.5. We then apply a control net and the control net tries to fix some of the issues inside of this image. So in, in this image here, we've got the hand looking a bit, a little bit uh, distorted. And what it does is that it controls, creates a control net. The control net tries to fix what's happening with the hands. It identifies the hands and tries to do something useful to fix those. We'll take a look at how it works. We'll take a look at how to try to improve the technique. And we'll also take a look at the limitations. Now, this technique builds on a lot of what we've learned already in the course. And after this, in the next course, there will be a little bit more that we can look at to do with latent space upscaling, which can also improve the technique even beyond what we're seeing here. Now, our starting point is going to be downloading a file using the ControlNet hand refiner. This is very new. It's just appeared in the last couple of weeks and it uses the control SD 1.5 in paint depth hand refiner. We so just click the download button, save that. Now these other two files should automatically download when you first use this particular one. Now those other files we mentioned will be controlled by the comfy UI control net auxiliary. This is GitHub and we're, we're looking at fan novel 16. This is the guy who, who manages this particular custom node and it's a very actively managed custom node. And you can see here some examples taken right from this very new control net, the kind of uh, results you can get. But if you've seen the earlier videos in the course, you will know already how to install this and how to use it. The hand refiner itself is a very new project which comes from a bunch of researchers in Australia, in Sydney University. But there's also a paper that the researchers published and that paper is a really, really interesting one. Not only are they working here with Stable Diffusion 1.5, but on the paper they demonstrate the use of this technique with Stable Diffusion XL. So this row here, this third row has got an image showing the kind of deformed hands that you might sometimes get and how this control net has been able to fix that inside of uh, Stable Diffusion Excel. So when you first open this, uh, th this workflow, you'll find that you need to open up the control net and the control net here, I've just saved it in an area where I saved Stable Diffusion 1.5 control nets. And this is the control net that we downloaded earlier. Once you've installed this, opened it up inside of the project with this custom node, which is the Mesh Graphoma Hand Refiner. This guy here is basically associated with the control net that we're going to be using, which is the one down here. So what you'll find is that the Mesh Graphoma Hand Refiner, I don't, I can't find any way of installing this using the manager, but I think what you'll find is that you can install it using the, the control net auxiliary. So we go to manager, let's go to install custom nodes. And inside of custom nodes, if you search for the username that we looked at earlier for, for Novel, you'll find the control net auxiliary preprocessors. This guy here is the one that we need to install. You might, as, you might also be able to update it, which may be useful if you're having any issues. So let's close this and when you open this and you run the prompt, it should try to download those two other files that we looked at earlier on. Those are necessary. It will store them in the, in the correct location. And you should also get, if you restart Comfy UI, you should also get the Mesh Graphoma Hand Refiner custom node appearing as well. Now, the, the clip text that we're using here is handsome man, well-dressed business, handsome, well-dressed businessman, raised hand in surrender, photorealistic. And you can see with this image, fairly typical for stable diffusion, we have hands that look a little bit, a um, little bit not perfect. What we need to do then is to apply the 
the uh, mask which identifies the, the the hands it then tries to create a realistic depth map for the hands and then it creates uh, the, the, the mask which we then output to a latent uh, noise mask and we then apply the control net so most of this stuff we've seen before and this is just a way of putting it all together uh, the control net the strength of the control net is a really important factor in the control of the output we'll take a look at that later on and then once we have the output from this we go into the case sampler which basically is a really important control point for the outcome so what what i'm going to do we can see the outcome here after the control net has been applied and you can see that we have got some results here which look good we've got a little bit of a an artifact there we've got a part here where it doesn't look perfect but it, it looks realistic as a hand for the most part and over here we've got again a, 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 an improved image with a few artifacts let's take a look to see how we can actually try to improve this image here i find going below 0.5 for the strength can be disadvantageous so i try to keep it 0.5 to 1 and if we just zoom in here at 0.5 i think you can see we're restoring some of the original detail so because this hand actually looked pretty good for the most part having a low strength on the control net actually works pretty well here we have a new image and here we've got a problem with the hand here where the fingers we've got missing fingers and we've also got some issues going on with this hand here which is trying to hold a pen but it doesn't look too realistic so what we can do here is take a look at the results that we got and you can see here it's trying to add a different background to this hand here which just doesn't look realistic and the same here now you could try in that situation to change the hands up clip text that might work but in this particular case um, <laughs> You know we can't really change it to anything else so here you might give up or you might say look let me reduce the expansion quite a lot more because that will reduce the amount of area that the control net can actually influence and that might produce the kind of results that we want so you can see there we've now got one two three four fingers and one thumb and here it's tried to do its best in terms of the location of the uh, of the pen what we need to try to do is to play around with the num with the, with the uh, details here we can try to play around also with the details inside the mesh graphoma hand refiner and that can actually influence the results quite a lot and we can we can start to make progress now if you have problems you can try to fix them using these settings here these settings here these settings have a big impact I find and sometimes you just might want to go ahead and change the settings here so if we try uh, th this particular uh, sampler it might produce a slightly easier uh, task in terms of producing uh, a better I initial image and then that better initial image well we've got reasonable looking hand there this one has got some issues with the with, with the fingers and when we take a look at the final image we can see that is I think it's going to put a glove on one of the hands so I'm pretty certain we're going to end up with a, with a gloved hand and that's not perfect and what we would want to do in that situation is probably to go ahead and reduce the denoise because it's creating new stuff and imposing that new stuff on the final design so with a denoise of 0.86 we're getting a somewhat more satisfactory result so play around especially with the denoise value here play around also with the strength those two have a big impact on the results that you're going to get 